I heard something very important to raise, uh, Count Holder, but I think I couldn't allow that attack on our independence and our right to be here and represent our people and our views. And we didn't wait till Deputy Vetch got elected in a by-election recently to come here and tell us how to run our business and how to be respectful and how to be mannerly. And it's, not, it's all one-way traffic here, as far as I can see. And if you have an Ontarian vice or contrarian vice or opinion, you're not allowed to talk at all, whether it be in rural Ireland, whether it be on immigration, whether it be on many other issues that affect us. And I take no lecture from Deputy Batchik. She'll be gone like the last leader, quicker than we even it gets dark. That's what happens with the Labour Party. The, it's founded in Conrad, a proud party that represented rural Ireland and the people of Tipperary. And now what is it? Language and, and the dog drums. We won't take any lectures like that. And I, I, I thank you for your indulgence. My issue was that I wanted to raise, will allow me to use Sport Island, uh, not Sport, the port, uh, motor racing island, motorbikes. I raised it with you here three weeks ago. 40 and 50, it's gone on there for 70 years, and many other clubs throughout the country cannot get insurance to uh, have any of their races this year. There's 12 or 13 different big events and many, many small ones. And these are committed people, committed sporting enthusiasts, run races safely can't get an insurance quote in Southern Ireland. Their colleagues in Northern Ireland can get Thank insurance, you, but they can't get it here in the South. You promised the Taoiseach here several weeks ago that the Minister would uh, engage with us and get this sorted. Sadly, all the events have been cancelled this now. year, and those people who want to give so much to the communities can't do it.